Hello, everyone. Welcome to PicoGenius.com where science, electronics, and microcontrollers converge. In today's video, we're going to look at digital to analog conversion using a Raspberry Pi Pico. We'll be using the MCP4725 digital to analog converter, and we'll walk through the entire process step by step. Let's dive in. First, let's look at the MCP4725 specifications. The DAC has 12 bits of resolution which gives you 4096 discrete voltage steps. It has on-board non-volatile memory which allows it to remember previous commands even if powered down. The device operates rail to rail for maximum output. The DAC operates from a single supply power source with a range of 2.7 to 5.5 volts which is perfect for the PicoPi operating at 3.3 volts. Lastly the 4725 receives commands and data via an I2C serial interface. Now let's look at the hardware schematic. As you can see, the MCP4725 is connected to the Pico Pi via the I2C bus. In addition the MCP4725 is powered from the Pico Pi's 3.3 volt supply. The MCP4725's output is connected to an oscilloscope to show the analog voltages commanded by the Pico Pi. This is the actual physical wiring of the Pico Pi to the MCP4725 DAC. The I2C interface makes for a nice clean connection. We will now create two programs to demonstrate the operation of the MCP4725 DAC. The first program is a Python script to create a stair step voltage output. The first two lines import the necessary libraries to establish an I2C serial communication link, establish output pins on the Pico and set up time delays needed in the program. The next two lines define the I2C address of the 4725. 0x60 is the default address. The DAC control register is default at 0x40. The next two lines define the pins SDA and SCL on the Pico that are used for I2C communication. This line creates an instance of the I2C class on primary bus 0. SDA equals pin, SDA underscore pin specifies the pin for the I2C serial data line, and SCL equals pin, SCL underscore pin, specifies the pin for the I2C serial clock line. Freak equals 100,000 sets the frequency of the I2C communication to 100 kHz. This determines how fast the data is transferred over the I2C bus. Def set underscore DAC underscore value per in value is a function that is responsible for setting the output value of the MCP4725 DAC. This function is called in the main routine, try. This line prevents the DAC output value from being less than 0 and more than 4096. This line constructs a byte array named data containing two bytes. The most significant byte is obtained by right shifting the value by 8 bits, value greater than greater than 8, and then using a bitwise AND operation with hexadecimal FF to ensure it's an 8-bit value. The least significant byte is obtained by using a bitwise AND operation with hexadecimal FF on the original value. The byte array contains the commands for the MCP4725 in the data that sets the analog output voltage. This line writes the byte array to the MCP4725 at I2C address 0x60. The byte array contains the command to output an analog value which is the voltage value to output. This is the main routine of the program and consists of a loop that cycles through all 4096 steps of the DAC in 256-bit increments. This represents 16 discrete steps between 0 and 4096. The FOR command does the stepping, and the set underscore DAC underscore value, value, command calls the function that creates the analog output. The routine delays 1.5 seconds between steps. These lines will terminate the program execution with a control C command. Let's look at a real-time example of the program in operation. Okay, here we are. Um, Bonnie is setting in the background, ready to be launched. Uh, you can see we have our um, Raspberry Pico Pi and our um, digital analog converter on the board. And instead of using a scope, uh, as I showed you in the presentation, 
I'm going to use an old time analog meter. It will uh, it will demonstrate the uh, step function uh, of the program. So now I'm going to launch the program, and you'll notice uh, that the Digital values are being incremented and being sent to the Pico, and as they are, you can uh, actually see the step functions uh, on the analog meter. So this thing uh, works really well. It's very accurate. Um, let's go back and look at a single input example. Let's now write a program that takes a voltage input from the keyboard and outputs this value on the MCP4725. This block of code operates exactly like the code in the stair step example. Refer to the previous example for the explanation. This single input example also has a function called by the main routine. This function is called def underscore write underscore doc in the single input routine. It is the same as the def underscore set underscore doc in the stair step example except the function takes a voltage value input from the keyboard and creates a 12-bit DAC value with the command DAC underscore value equals int value times 4095 divided by 3.3. That value is then used to create a byte array and is written to the MCP4725 over the I2C bus. The main routine is a loop that prompts for a voltage input between 0 and 3.3 volts. That voltage value is sent to the write underscore DAC function for output as an analog value and its value is printed on the console. If any value other than a numeric value is input on the keyboard, an error is generated. Again, a control C can terminate program execution and a one second delay is generated between user inputs. Let's take a look at this program operating in real time. Okay, so as you can see, I got um, Fawny in the back. Uh, ready to be launched. Um, I have my Pico Pi and D Day converter. We have our um, old time analog meter so we can look at the actual values that are output. This is a single input example. So um, if I launch the program, you'll notice that um, it's asking for um, a voltage between. 0 and 3.3. .3. Let's try 0.5. Okay, 0.5, and if you look on your meter, in fact, uh, the deflection is 0.5. Let's try 1. 1 volt. There we are at 1 volt. Let's try 2 volts. There we are at 2 volts and 3 volts. A little off the range because the uh, maximum is 2.5 and back to zero. So as you can see, the um, D-Day converter is doing its job, and uh, I will see you guys back to presentation. Thank you for watching. Subscribe and thumbs up for more content like this. As usual this presentation, the hardware schematics, and the Python programs can be found at www.picogenios.com.